Hello, today I'm going to draw this long-legged black fly. It's an interesting case considering it's incredibly long legs and the perspective as well. So to start off, I'm going to start off by making the ball of the head. I'm going to make it incredibly small. It's um, actually, I think I made it too big. So I'm going to start with that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the thorax, which is partially like behind the head. And there's a lot of uh, overlap going on. Kind of like that. And the uh, abdomen is perfectly, like I can see a little bit of it, but it's mostly hidden under its uh, wings. Oops. Well, it's a bit thinner. Kind of like that. Okay. Now, to start off, I am not sure what these two things are in the back. Um, I, I've been looking at them, and I've been trying to find out what they are. I should probably ask uh, James, but I have yet to do that. To be honest, I keep thinking that it's a form of a mimicry um, to deter predators because they kind of look like, like eyes and it kind of makes it look like it's a bit of a more intimidating insect. That's what I would think, but I can tell that its eyes are both uh, right here and I'll, I'll draw them of course. Um, to start off, I am going to draw the eyes and they're kind of like bulbous bulbous ellipses and we can kind of see what looks like a bit of the uh, mouth part well you know what it's a bit more like there and there and I could see I'm not sure if these are like mandibles of some sort or a proboscis but I see uh, two of them, one there and another one that looks like it's kind of like going into its uh, mouth, kind of like wraps around a bit. Um, I could see two antenna. They are they both attach like here and here. One of them is going about there, oh, actually a little bit further. About there and the other one's going even further about now it's that's actually about right I think no you know what it's a bit more straight looking about that oh you know what no it sorry it kind of curves but doesn't really look like it um what I want to do now is I want to make uh, pilot holes for the legs and when I look at the legs, it looks like the two back legs are further than the front uh, two legs. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna draw pilot holes for the uh, legs. And I'm also gonna have to quickly uh, jump to the wings. So the reason why I'm going to uh, well, actually, before I do the wings, I'm going to draw some of the more structure of the thorax. So I drew it as a ball, but there's kind of like this uh, interesting shape that kind of goes around the form. It's like the back is a bit um, popping out. And that's also where I'm seeing uh, those two things. So the reason why I wanted to draw that um, line is to show that uh, the the wing attachment because the wing attachments are like these uh, little grooves on the back of its um, thorax and you know the, there are two wings but because they overlap it makes them look like one and it's covering the majority of the um, abdomen But it is important to know that there are two wings. There's not just uh, one wing. They're both um, overlapping, and it's kind of contributing to the 
confusion of it. <laughs> if it had its wings out, that would um, be a bit more convenient. But sometimes um, you do have to work with what you have. So now what I want to do is I want to draw those two things that I'm seeing that are coming off the back of its um, thorax. They're very subtle, but they look like two balls. And they kind of look like bulbous eyes. And I keep saying, and I, I, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a form of a mimicry to deter other predators from uh, eating it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to draw the legs. And um, as I've been drawing this black fly, you'll notice that I pretty much avoided drawing the legs until this point. And uh, that's with uh, good purpose. I wanted to avoid drawing the legs because it's kind of hard to predict the lines until I add all of that uh, structure and initial gesture first. So now I could add, or not add, but draw some uh, initial lines for the legs. And actually I could even plot out points where I want the uh, legs to be headed. And we could see most of the legs. Um, some of them are a little bit out of focus, the mostly the endpoints of them. <laughs> but I could see what makes them up. It's kind of like a long matched stick, another long matched stick, kind of like a kind of like a thinning out triangle, then like three of them, then we have those uh, hook things at the end. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'm not just gonna say it. So I'm gonna draw the back leg first, or more just the gesture of the leg. And I'm trying to think of all of these comparisons as I go, like how uh, this, the top of the leg right here is uh, pretty much on the same level as the wing. Now that I look at it, I may have um, made made it a bit too high when it really should have been about here. That's how I would think of it. <laughs> Sometimes um, it's incredibly important to be cautious of all of the little subtleties when you're trying to be as accurate as possible. I'm also going to be trying to ghost my lines more. When I say ghost, it's um, you pretty much draw without drawing. And the idea is to get in the flow of executing a line before you draw it. I kind of messed it up because I made it a bit too curved. So we have that line. We have that line. We have that one. Okay, now for the other back leg. And the other back leg, they're almost very on the same level. There. And the other thing is when the leg is coming down, we can kind of see where it comes down is uh, kind of coinciding with that fake eye, or what I believe is a fake eye. We have that. There, then it kind of goes up like that. Now we have this leg, and we could uh, make the comparison here. So we see the first leg part, and it kind of goes like right here. I mean, not right there, but I mean like uh, when it's going down, it's kind of like heading. Well, it's actually a little bit further. It's more like right here. But yeah, I'm trying to be cautious of all of these little uh, comparisons. I could also see what looks to be the initial leg attachment here. It may be an extra part before the leg attachment to the underside of the thorax, but that's what I'm seeing. Oops, sorry, I should have ghosted my line a bit more. Oops, went a little too far. Still a bit too far. Okay. Now the leg goes down. Uh, 
about here. It's going to go down further again to about there. Okay, we're making some progress. Um, at this point, I'm going to draw the front, well, this leg here. And I'm trying to be cautious of all the junctions and connections. And I think about here is where it connects. Then it goes down really far. It's actually quite a simple S curve. It's about there. There are so many uh, comparisons to think of when you make it. And I have to say, for a long time, I was not always being aware of doing all of the uh, minor comparisons to try to make it as accurate as possible. Granted, some quirks will always uh, slide their way in there. And it seems like uh, when I do draw, I inevitably end up making some minor mistakes, but at least I can see them. I feel like I've moved to the point in which I could uh, spot my mistakes, which I think is incredibly important. Um, it's kind of like being able to teach yourself to fish, so to say, or like, you know, teaching someone else to fish. Ah, I missed it again. If I have to be given credit, <laughs> I was wearing a jacket because it is pretty cold. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the other... I'm going to draw actually this leg here. And it goes beyond... goes... out there and then it kind of curves to about there man this black fly is really reminding me of a mosquito <laughs> for some reason so now I'm trying to think of this uh, gap space right here to draw the next leg, or the last leg. And now it goes down, and I want to be wary of like this area here. And now for the last section. Oops. I think the direction of the gestural lines is incredibly important. I think you should be trying to follow the flow of the actual uh, legs themselves. And it's incredibly important to do that because when you start uh, actually drawing the uh, structure of the legs, I've noticed I may not have done that initially and I wasn't uh, being aware of it and I would end up uh, missing out a bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing the uh, matchstick-like shapes that make up the legs. And you'll have to bear with me with uh, some of the mistakes. It's kind of hard for me to talk and draw at the same time. I've realized I've been making many more mistakes than I normally would have because of that. And there are times when I uh, I appear to make fewer mistakes when I'm not talking and doing this. But I think it is important for me to uh, talk about some of the process as I go. So the back leg here, some of it is a bit difficult to see because it's a little bit out of uh, focus, but some of the other legs will become a bit um, easier to see as we go. I made that one a bit too thick.
Okay, so um, at this middle leg right here, I do see a little bit of a shape that kind of sticks out before we get to the main leg unit. I'm pretty sure all of those have it. Actually, I see it a little bit of it on the front leg here, here as well. It's very thin and subtle. Perhaps I could even see a little bit of it here. It's not always um, as clear to see those uh, connections, but they are there. And it's an interesting perspective here because we could see like what appears to be like a flat end. But the reality is it's just uh, the perspective. They're like these little cap off zones of the leg. And perhaps I should have been trying to draw some of these uh, leg units with a smaller tool. than I am uh, using. Okay, now for this leg. And I made, no, I think I'm good. I was about to say that I thought I made the leg not uh, straight enough. But I think it's fine. They get a bit thin in some areas, much thinner than uh, I'm drawing, but I'll try my best. I just realized at the end here, I should have made it the last part curve out a bit more. Okay, now for this leg section. Perhaps I made it a bit too thick. And now that I look at the legs closer, it kind of looks like there's always an area of like flatness, then an area more curved. So I may have been messing that up just a little bit as I go along. Not intentionally, of course. Alrighty, now for the last leg that I did not get yet. And why did I wait until the last leg to get to this one? I really, I, I don't know, I just chose it. Yeah, I think if I'm doing one thing, I probably should be using a smaller tool. There's a lot of corks to drawing these legs and I keep drawing them way too thick than the reality. But yeah, there's our black fly. Thank you very much for listening. If you like the video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you have a question, please ask in the comments. Thank you very much for listening. I didn't draw the antenna because they're a bit too small to see, so I just left it at the uh, gestural lines. Thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. Bye.